Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It is Wednesday, and today we're gonna be doing some super awesome, cool trick stuff with your Siberian Husky. So I hope you got your dog ready. I hope you're tuning in and getting ready to take your notes, because we are about to teach your dog something really cool. You ever see people go around, going up to their dog, and they're like, what's up, buddy? Give me a high five, and then they give their dog a high five, and it looks really awesome. Today we're gonna be learning how to teach your Siberian Husky how to shake your hand or give you a high five whichever one you prefer you can use whatever term you want and whatever keyword you want when you're talking to your dog oh it's all up to you you're the dog father so you decide but what I call it is paw basically I just ask Hila can I get a paw good girl can I get a paw Good boy, that was so good. Today we're gonna teach you exactly how to teach your dog that little sweet maneuver right there. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we teach your doggo or your Siberian Husky how to shake that hand or smash that high five. Come on, let's go. All right, now some of you may already know how to get your dog to shake your hand or give you the paw or give you a high five, what have you, but this video is going to teach you how to do it just in case you don't know. See, some dogs, they naturally just give you their paw when you put your hand down here. This little weird suggestion where you put your hand underneath their chin down by their breastplate. Usually a dog, they will go ahead and give you their paw, especially if you have a treat. Now when I do this with Gila, you can see she just automatically kind of puts her paw up like that, and that's how we trained her from there. But what happens if your dog doesn't know how to lift their arm and naturally just give you their paw? Sometimes it's really difficult for a dog to understand what you're asking them to do. Now in this case, Britney Spears, I would say paw over and over again, and he never could figure out, even after watching Gila do it like 6,000 times, how to get his paw up. So I had to do some thinking and I had to dig deep and figure out how I was going to teach him to give me that paw. I had to go really far back and try and make as slow and little steps as possible. So let me tell you what I did. First, we're gonna go and I'm gonna teach you how to do it naturally like I did with Gila. And after that, if you're having troubles, we're gonna switch over to Britney Spears and I'm gonna show you a few tricks if the paw and the shake is not going your way. You know what I'm talking about? So let's get into it right now. So let's say you got a dog and they're naturally just shaking for you. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your treat right you're gonna get your dog's attention just like this you see how focused she is and you're gonna say paw good girl paw good girl then you reward all right now she did that perfectly that's probably not how your dog is gonna do it the first time so what you're gonna want to do is get your high value treat and let's start from an easier point so one thing that helps with this trick is you're basically gonna show them the treat in your hand right just like we've shown you before in past videos. And then when you have their attention, you are going to, yes, exactly, yes, good girl. That's a good girl. You're basically gonna take that treat and aim it towards their hand. Now see, maybe your dog might do this. They might be like, oh, what's going on? Why are you, why are you doing this? They're not like lifting their paw, right? Go ahead and just point to their foot until they lift it up just a little bit and then reward them. Even if they have to come all the way down, that's okay. Up, good girl, sit. Okay, so let's try again with Gila. Let's get her to give us her paw. So we're going to take the treat and we're going to come down here and we're gonna sit. Look at that right there. If your dog does that without even doing anything, if they put their paw up like this, that reward that. So let's reward that motion. Okay, ready, ready, ready. There you go. I'm gonna drop the treat. There you go, good girl. So when they lift their paw like that, you are going to reward baby, baby steps. They don't even have to give you the paw as long as they put the paw out. Maybe they lift it a little tiny bit, reward that behavior and encourage that. Be like, good girl, good girl, good boy, good boy. Do that kind of thing. Use the high voices that we talked about and encourage them that they're doing a really, really good job. Keep moving forward with that, okay? So up, good girl, sit. So we're gonna say paw, 
good girl and reward. Now you can say anything you want. You don't have to say paw. You can say shake. You can say hand. You can say paw. You can say whatever you want. You can say high five. It's whatever you want to do. Just make sure that you use that word every single time so your dog understands what you're talking about. You want to have solid communication between you and your husko. All right, ready? Let's try one more time. Paw. Good girl. So even that right there, even though she didn't even do it correctly, she kind of jumped and put both of her paws in my hand, we're gonna reward that behavior. Now there's several different directions you can go with this trick. You can do all sorts of really cool things. All you have to do is basically evolve it to whatever you wanna do. Let's say you want to do a high five, right? You say high five, good girl, and then you reward that. Now that's changing up the lingo a little bit. So maybe you wanna change the trick a little bit. So say like high five and then take that hand and put it way up here and then reward when they have the paw way up there. That's kind of a variation in the trick a little bit. And now you can go way, way, way further with this paw, other paw. Good girl, so you're getting two different paws. You can get it even more complicated than that, but that's how smart Siberian Huskies are, and that's how cool you can make these little paw high five tricks. Now that you know how to basically work from ground zero with a dog that's willing to lift their paw up and start from there, we're gonna work on a dog that doesn't know how to lift its paw up, and I'm gonna help you do that because there are dogs out there that no matter how hard you try, they will never lift their paw when you have a treat in there in your hand. And that's something that's really difficult to deal with because you wanna teach your dog how to lift their arm. And when they're not doing it on their own, it's kind of hard to implement that practice without their cooperation. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you a really cool trick on how I showed Britney Spears how to shake hands when he would not even give me his paw from the beginning. So let's go do that right now. It's <laughs> a good boy. All right, we got Britney Spears right here. So first thing you want to do is get your doggo. Exactly, get that puppy Rooney pizza. And then get yourself a really decadent bone, okay? Something that's... Yeah, something that's really super duper good. And what you're gonna wanna do is get on a chair or like a couch. So sit down low to where you're eye level with your dog. Now put the bone right here on your lap and ask your dog to come forward. Come here. So basically you're gonna have your dog sit right here in front of you. You're gonna put your knee right down in front of them and you're gonna have the bone in your hand. You're gonna wanna go down, grab their paw and place it on your knee. And when their paw is on your knee, that's when you let them have the bone, but you don't give it to them. Only hold it in your hand and you let them chew on it. Good boy, and while they're licking on the bone, just let them get comfortable. Let them do their old thing, but don't allow them to have the bone. You're in control of the bone and you're in control of the situation. So what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna grab your dog's leg and you're gonna put it up on your knee. Good boy, good boy, it's a good boy. Put this right here, yeah, good boy. Good boy, yeah, that's a good boy. So now we have Britney Spears, his hand is up on my knee and he's chewing on the bone. All right, he's getting used to his foot being up here on my knee, which is a good thing. So now once they're comfortable with their bone and their hand is up on your knee or around your knee, you're gonna take the bone away. And they're gonna be like, yo bro, why'd you take that all away, dude? I was really enjoying that. And then again, you're gonna take the foot, good boy, and you're gonna place it right up here on your knee just like that. And you're gonna say paw, or you're gonna say shake, or you're gonna say whatever you want to indicate that that foot up here is what you want. So you say paw. Once that foot slips away, take it away. Can I get a paw? Can I get a paw? Can I get a paw? So while we're holding it on our knee, right? We're gonna repeat this process again. I know we're going over and over and over here. We're gonna do this one more time and hopefully he's gonna get the hint that his foot up here is the reward. Good boy, that's a good boy. Look at that good boy right there. Just remember to be patient with your dog. It takes a little bit of time for them to understand what you're asking them to do. And this is the key in dog training is patience and understanding. I'm telling you guys. Let's go ahead and grab that foot again. Put it up on the knee. Let them know, hey, as long as you're putting this foot up here on my knee, you can have this tasty treat. That's right, good boy, that's paw. That's paw, that's a good boy. Sometimes you kinda gotta assist the paw right there. See how my fingers are kinda holding it up? That's okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about assisting them. Just let them know they're doing good, that's a paw. Now take it away. Can I get a paw? Can I get paw? 
Can I get paw? Can I get paw? Can I get paw right here? Can I get paw? Good boy! That's a good boy! Yeah! You get to have that as a reward, buddy. Good boy. Can I get paw right here? Can I get paw right here? You good boy? Can I get paw? Can I, that was good? Yeah, get closer. It's gonna get closer now. Can I get paw? Can I get paw? Can I get paw? Good boy. That's a good boy. So you guys literally just watched the evolution of him not knowing what I was wanting to finally just figuring out that putting his paw up on my knee is what's going to get him this tasty treat. Now, what he really, really wants is to take this away from me. He wants me to let it go so that he can take it over in the corner and enjoy it all by himself. All right, that was good enough. Britney Spears, he's like, I just want my bone now. But you guys understand the evolution I'm trying to show you here. Basically, what you're going to do is hold the bone and you're going to teach your dog that putting the paw up on the knee breeds the reward of chewing on the bone. So there you guys go. I'm arming you with some awesome tips on how to help your dog progress. It's not really that hard. They just need to understand how to lift their arm. And there are several different strategies to go about to get your dog to do this. And this is just one of them. Holding a bone out, putting your dog's paw on your knee, and then rewarding rewarding with the bone while you hold it, that's what's going to get you super, super far with this technique. So guys, I hope that helped you figure out how to get your dog to shake your hand. Work on that for a couple of weeks. See where it gets you. I'm sure in no time, you are going to be high-fiving your doggo in style. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Tonight, we are just going to be chilling and hanging out, getting ready to move. And we just want to thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Don't forget to check out the description below. We have all sorts of awesome Husky toys, Husky gear. We have an Instagram, we have a Facebook, and we have a Patreon. So if you're really enjoying the channel and you're having fun with the Huskies, chilling and eating bones and learning awesome tips and having birthdays, well then it would be awesome if you hit the bell, hit subscribe, or hit that like button. Guess what? We'll see you next time with another episode of Whatever We Make. Peace! Ba da 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 ba da